Sup, new egg. This is Rance, and uh, I just bought this Agility 3 here by OCZ. It's a 120 gigabyte hard drive. Fits into laptops. I got this upgrade at the same time as I got an 8 gigabyte RAM upgrade for this machine. This is a 2009 MacBook Pro with 2.53 gigahertz Core 2 Duo processor. So it's a couple revisions old now. Uh, I'm on just straight battery right now. No funny business, no trickery. And let's just see how long it takes to fire up. Uh, OS X Lion, by the way, and this is a clean install. I installed the hard drive, and then I installed Lion from a bootable DVD, so I did not try to uh, move any existing image over or do anything like that. It was just purely a clean install. It takes about 11 seconds to boot. Uh, I've got CS5 on this thing. Uh, and actually, let's see shutdown time too. Check it out. What is that? A was that a 1001 shutdown time? Pretty ridiculous. Pretty much negates all need for sleep or hibernation modes, and I have disabled them in the operating system. And we're in. And I can just fire up Photoshop real quick. Let's just see how long that takes. Right after booting up, Photoshop's in in about three seconds. Let's check out Final Cut Pro X. And there we go, in. Took like three seconds to load in. Uh, plenty of other programs can be fired up. Illustrator is another commonly used one in my household. And there it is, in in about two to three seconds and out instantly as well. Uh, other programs, here's a uh, Skype beta version. Of course, it takes a little time to contact the internet. Any, any program that contacts the internet will take a little bit more time uh, because of the network speed. But uh, anyway, there it is. And uh, this thing, seriously, you guys, it, it just hauls ass. Here's Chrome in super duper easy. <clears throat> Uh, so if you like that fast, snappy experience in OS X, uh, this is definitely a good drive for that. And uh, if you can get a good drive, I've read some reviews of uh, some dead-on arrivals. Mine was perfect. Mine went in without incident, needed no configuration at all. I was also able to uh, enable trim support from OS X Lion by Googling uh, some blog posts about that. And I found some command line tweaks that allowed me to enable trim uh, on a non-Apple SSD. So it is possible to do with this particular drive as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.